case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2009, the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit heard the case Gross v. FBL Financial Services, Inc., which revolved around proving age discrimination under the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, ADA. The plaintiff, Jack Gross, claimed that he was unfairly reassigned to a lower position due to his age, as many of his job responsibilities were given to a younger employee, Lisa Keyskern. Gross filed a lawsuit, arguing that his age played a significant role in this decision. At the trial, the district court instructed the jury that they should rule in favor of Gross if age was a factor in the reassignment. However, the Court of Appeals rejected this view, and the Supreme Court ultimately ruled in favor of FBL Financial Services, Inc. The Supreme Court clarified that in age discrimination cases under the ADEA, the plaintiff must prove that age was the primary reason for the employer's decision, not just a factor. The court rejected the mixed motives framework used in Title VII cases and emphasized that the burden of proof remains with the plaintiff. This decision established that, in ADEA cases, the plaintiff must show but-for causation and cannot rely on a mixed motives framework or a shifting burden on the employer. The ruling did not overrule earlier cases, including precedents considering mixed motives claims under Title VII. The treatment of ERISA cases, however, might differ. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.